gather round. Hit it, hit it. Listen up, I got yeah. a story to tell. <laughs> Listen up, I got a story to tell. Yep. What's going yeah. on, you guys? Um, want to talk about something real quick, right? And yeah, I may get emotional, uh, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll fight through it because this, to this day, it still haunts me and kind of in one of those, you know, I'm saying I can't believe this actually happened type things. All right, so, um, man, okay. So it's 2016. <coughs> um, married, uh, my oldest child is here, and it's about May, June, um, and my youngest child is on the way. Teresa is about six months pregnant at the time. There's a bug, the police. Okay, we're not leaving. Okay, sorry. So Teresa is about six months pregnant at the time, six, seven months pregnant. And it's, I think it was June, because it was mad hot, right? Um, and so we are at this church, and we are, they're having this, um, like, water day, right? And so they got a, a big bouncy house, and the bouncy house had stairs on one side, and then it had a big water slide on the other side, right? And at the bottom of the water slide was this pool um, kind of area where they had like a bunch of water just built up in it. So the kids slide down and splash to the water and then get out and then go back around and do the same thing all over again, right? Kind of, you know, whatever. I don't know. I'll be bored, but the kids loved it. And so Teresa is sitting, like I said, she's pregnant, like super pregnant at the time. And so she's like, Bay, I'm about to go uh, inside where it's, where it's cool at. And um, can you please watch, you know, watch Livy? And I was like, yeah, no problem. So. I'm sitting there, but I'm talking to, so I'm sitting here, on the right-hand side of me is where the uh, pull, the, uh, the slide, the bouncy thing is, right? So I'm sitting there talking to the fellas, and we're just shooting the breeze, and just, you know, talking about the Lord, and how the day is going, and just, you know, having a cool, cool conversation. So as we're talking, I kind of look to the right, and I see, um, you know, Livy's on the top of the slide, she's sliding down, and then, you know, she kind of gets up. And the guy helped us, two guys sitting there help her up. And, you know, she walks around and goes, she just keep doing this. Her and a bunch of other kids, right? And so I'm sitting there talking, yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. And I look, and I don't you know, finish the conversation. Keep going, going, look, conversation, right? So I keep doing this, right? Um, as I'm doing this, I kind of look, and I don't see Olivia, right? And I'm kind of like, huh. Keep talking, look back, still don't see her. Keep talking, look back, don't see her. And I said, uh, hold on real quick, guys. And so I walked towards the pool area, and the two guys that are sitting up, you know, helping the kids out is in a deep conversation, right? And I look, and my daughter is drowning, okay? She is engulfed in this water and taking in water as we speak and the look on her face man look on her face was so real i can't even put words to it right she is sitting there and she is just wide-eyed and she is trying to get her footing but kids are sliding down at the same time so they're hitting her and the other kids are able to get up and get out, but she is struggling to get out. And these two young men are, are, are standing there not paying attention. And I come over there and I see her. She sees me. And so she's kind of like reaching. And I just quickly one arm grab her and pull her up. She's coughing. And I'm like, hey. And so the two young men, they see me like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. We didn't see. And I grab her. She's crying, right? She's hysterically crying and I'm holding her I got her on my, on my shoulder here I'm like it's okay mama daddy got you daddy got you and she I said I'm walking away from the pool area and she is bawling and just crying so my heart is broke because my daughter is crying because she almost drowned and I, I am sitting there and I'm, I'm hot but I'm, I'm more concerned about my daughter at this time and I'm just holding her and and she's crying and I feel like this this pushing so she's on my actually my right shoulder sorry and I'm feeling this pushing on my shoulder and I'm like what is what is what is what's going on and I look back around and I see her arm she's crying and screaming because I took her from the pool 
So she's reaching for the pool. She wants me to put her back in the water where I just saved her from. And I'm sitting, I said, so I kind of put up, I said, what? She said, um, you know, she basically, she want, I want to go back to the water, go back to the water. And I'm sitting, I was like, mama, and, and, and I, didn't, I didn't know what to say. And I said, no, no more water for right now. And she just loses it, right? And I said, it's fine. So I took her inside where Teresa was at, and she, you know, just sat there with her for a while, and, you know, because she cried, and she held her and everything like that. And I just sat there, I'm like, yo, you almost drowned in that. Yet you're, you're wanting to go back to that. Like, that thing almost overtook you, it almost killed you. I know you can't really grasp the concept of that, <coughs> but you can grasp it, but you can understand that you felt unsafe, un, unsecure, um, um, just overall, I know she felt this wasn't a good place, a good, good area for her, yet she's mad at me and, and begging me to put her back in there. And that, that, this is like I said, 2016, it's 2021, and I have thought about this ever since then. And I, I liken it to us believers being freed from certain sins, right? We have been, by Lord's beautiful grace, he has reached down, seen us entangled in a sin, whatever your sin may be, right? He has pulled us out. Yet and still, we are reaching and begging and trying our best to get back to it. Instead of resisting it, instead of seeing how deadly and dangerous it was, we are trying our darndest to get back to it. Because we feel like there's something in there that completes us. My daughter didn't grasp the concept of how close to death she was all she saw was this was joy it's like us with sin we 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 don't understand how quickly we could be overtaken by sin but yet we don't care we just want that joy it brings and so going back to my daughter and this is you know just, the thought is just still tough for me but it's like she loved that joy, even though that joy had no love for her. And it's like we love sin so much, even though sin has no love for us. Saints, I encourage all of us, myself included, um, that we be mindful of the rescuing of the Lord from certain sins and rejoice in that and find our joy in that as opposed to trying to find our joy in that sin because whether we knew it or not that whole that sin that we were trapped in the mindset of that sin was to take us down and finish us off yet Christ came to give us life I pray that we run towards Christ with the same joy, same zeal, and we ran towards sin.